Howdy everyone, this is Locknuts, and you're watching episode 21 of Kleinsland. Hopefully you'll stick around to see what happens. Howdy, 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 how are you guys doing today? Oh my goodness, today is a great day for everything that we have going on today in the farm, including exactly what you're seeing right now. What you're seeing right now is exactly what you think it is. We are harvesting some cotton. Now, uh, mistakes were made. On my part, I have to give a big thanks to Taz and to Rusty for going out of their way, helping me out, trying to figure out in a way to make this all work. Guys, I do appreciate it quite a bit. I am just a fool. <laughs> oh my goodness, that ultimately what it came down to was there's a very specific setup that you needed to have this thing set up to actually harvest the cotton and because I did not have it set up in that particular fashion uh, I did not work <laughs> oh man but now we got this going we're rocking we're rolling um, if you guys do remember over we had just bought a new grass field and we have that all mowed it's mowed it's ready we took the silage out of the silage bunker. Now, I'm going to stop here for just one second. Let's bring this up here. So we are doing this contract. Um, it comes out to be $1,300 that we are using to rent all of this stuff or lease all the equipment. So we're only going to make $300 off this. But if this works out fine cotton prices are incredibly lucrative right now so it might be something we jump into a little later on um uh, sugar beets we don't want to do anything with that stuff and potatoes we can't plant that perfect we just finished um, fertilizing that field so that's good um prices that's not it there we go prices so currently if you take a look at cotton prices five thousand dollars per thousand liters even if we do something close to that we're doing really good and check out eggs we're gonna wait for that to top out and then we are selling eggs <laughs> I love it I love it I love it Ooh, it was so glad that we held out for all that oh man now what we're gonna come over here and look at is currently silage price is two thousand or not two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars now this has gone up in the past um, now as we talked last time one of the ways we're gonna really use to pay for that field that we had was we want to take our silage in and sell it well what we're gonna do right now is I have the total it was uh, fifty one thousand and I, I don't know it, it's written down over here 51,000 liters that we had in the silage bunker so what we're gonna do is when this tops out we're gonna take that $51,000 or 51,000 liters and sell that on top of everything else that we got so we do have a running total right now and once we make all the silage and whatever the price gets good again then we're gonna go ahead and jump on that but for the time being I'm just going to go take care of this really quick just to stop driver. Turn that off. We'll accept that contract really quick. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's get back over here. Perfect. Yeah, so for the time being, that's kind of the thought process on what we're going to be doing here. Um, I'm not sure how everything's all going to pan out with all of this. I mean, you know, surprisingly this going not, goes 9 miles an hour. It's not that bad of a working speed. It doesn't appear that we're getting a huge yield off of this field, but 
if you ultimately think about this, this is obviously not our field. Um, down and back gets three rows of cotton. One, two, three. Down and back. I did miss a little bit, but let's say it's 1300 That currently, with the current cotton prices, what's sitting in here is about eight grand worth of cotton. That is absolutely intense. So what I think we're going to end up doing after the sugar beets, um, well, virtually everything that we have getting, getting done over there, I think we're going to go ahead, potentially lease this. I don't know. I'm not sure how I want to work this just yet. But I think we're going to go ahead and do a massive cotton harvest and just make tons and tons of cash. Uh, because currently, uh, even obviously, like I said, this isn't our field. We're getting close to ten grand worth of cotton in this thing. So this is just absolutely fabulous. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, one thing that I am not aware of, uh, this may be something different. Now, if you guys remember, or if you're if you're knowledgeable about this, um, when you're playing in seasons. Now, this isn't seasons, but when you're playing in seasons, loose straw, loose hay, sells for zero dollars. You actually have to bale the stuff to make money off of it. Now, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because currently what we're doing is this is all loose. This is not, this is not a bale of cotton. I wonder if the price is going to be affected by that. You know, we go ahead, we get all this cotton and we dump it in loose are we going to get no money for it or very little money for it or is it not going to matter i don't know i have no clue how cotton works in just regular games i i'll be 100 percent honest with you the only time that i've ever done cotton has been on contracts that's absolutely it so i have no clue as to how this actually goes. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna play this one by ear, and what I'm probably gonna end up doing here, guys, because this is gonna take a while. <laughs> it just is gonna take a while. I will probably go ahead and get this finished up. I'm gonna see if I can, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll get this finished up and then I will bring you guys back in when I'm about ready to go ahead and dump this off, sell it, however you want to look at it. I'll bring you guys back in at that point. Okay, everyone. Um, we're not quite where we need to be. There is a slight issue... I can't quite put my finger on what that issue is, but yeah. So what ended up happening was we had the 833 sitting right here. Um, I had this on auto drive to drive over to the Webbery, and because the 833 was sitting here it stopped so i got the 833 got that out of the way had to go do something um this decided to continue on its way well unfortunately tires were just slipping and sliding so i decided i would take this guy right here and just kind of give him a little bump well he did a flip into the air and landed just like that partially in the ground so I'm not sure what's going to happen here. <laughs> I may have just spent all that time for nothing. Um, yeah, boy, that really stinks because I want to say if we take a look at the contract, we're at 84%. So, oh, man, there's over 10,000 liters of cotton in that thing. This is not good. This is This is very, very not good. Um, so I'm just going to try and flip this thing. I don't, I don't know what we can go ahead and do at this point, to be honest with you. Maybe I can 
get it up against the wall or something get it to flip that way I don't I don't know I just don't know this is uh oh man I don't know <laughs> I, I don't know I, I keep saying I don't know because I don't know what we can get to work okay oh baby all right before we do anything else right now we are going to come in here we are going to save in case i flip this thing again all right perfect so let's i let's just i'll drive it i'll drive it i got this at this point <laughs> oh man and what i was planning on doing because like I was talking about with the cotton, uh, on how seasons, you need to do bales and all that stuff. Before I go ahead and decide that we're going to try and sell this cotton, I'm going to save again. Um, I realize at this point we'd only be driving just a little bit, but I still would like to, at a minimum, save this just to be on the safe side. Uh, but like I said, as you can see down in the corner... We have ten and a half thousand liters of cotton in here. Now that's fifty-five thousand, fifty-four thousand, probably fifty-five after everything's all said and done. So that is absolutely fantastic. Um, now I'm not. I don't know how this thing offloads, so that's the second part of the issue. All right, so yeah, like I said, I'm not sure how this thing offloads. Uh, I think this tips over this way, but I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll just kind of finagle our way around here. It may just be me dumping this, and we see what ends up happening, because like I said, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's not working either. Okay, so let's turn this thing around and like I said we will save and see what ends up happening because uh, I don't know worst case scenario I dump this on the ground best case scenario I do exactly what needs to be done so at this point right here we're gonna go like this we are going to get oh that's fine save all right, and now it should just be a matter of lower harvester down. No, that doesn't matter. No. Okay, so let's try this. Don't have access to this land. Okay. So, I think at this point, guys, I'm going to have to probably just back out for a little while. Um... What I'm thinking is going to end up having to happen is I have to get some sort of compactor or something like that to actually make that into a bale. I don't think I can actually do it this way. So um, I will probably bring you back in when I get that figured out. But until that point, I will see you guys in a little while. Maybe. So let's give this a shot. <laughs> Oh, thank you to our friend Taz for coming through in a pinch, finding us a trailer, and maybe or maybe not tweaking it just a hair so we could put cotton into it. Um, we're going to see how this works out. I am I'm hoping for the best. I really, really am. And we'll see how this goes. We may still have to compact this. I don't know. We're going to see. Uh, but at least, at least at this point, we have the capability of having this tipper trailer. So, with this being said, this should work. I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. No, how is this tipping? We want to tip this onto the right side. And hopefully we get an icon that pops up. Oh, baby cakes, you betcha. Ooh, happy dance, happy dance. Ooh, gotta love it. Got to love it. It sounds silly. It looks silly. 
But if this contraption works, just with that little bit of bonus harvest, $14,000. Booyah. Absolutely booyah. Now, I'm going to show you why right now. So that was $14,000. We know that. We come over here. I know we've looked at all this stuff. This is 15000 even with the little setup on it to make it how it needs to be. You go to the wheel setup, this HMP, that's a thousand extra bucks. $16,000. $10,000 that. That's 26000 And then we go over to Cotton Tech. This one's four nine. Four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. That's classic. <laughs> We're just gonna say five thousand. That means between all three of those, that's thirty thousand dollars. Now, just with the bonus harvest alone, I would have paid for half of that. Half. So I think what we're gonna go ahead and do is I think for a short period of time, we may dive into the cotton industry. Why not? Um, I, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I was even thinking about potentially buying a field just for doing cotton. Um, but then obviously at that point we're looking at we got to go ahead and take care of uh, the, the loan that we have right now. Let's pull off to the side of the road so we can actually take a peek at this. Um, so we go ahead and we take a look at what we got going on right here. Let's say we decide to buy field 9. Okay, field nine is $117,000. Now, 10,000, in one harvest, we could pay for half of this field. That's one of those things where initially, yeah, it's like, I don't know, it might make some sense to do, but I don't know. That's 1.6 hectares. That's five, I'm sorry, and then we go over here, that's seven. Between these two fields right here, if I do one harvest on these two fields with the max yield, this was not a max yield on this. Max yield on these two, I'm sorry, these two right here is going to probably end up yielding us at least sixty to seventy thousand dollars. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. That would definitely help us pay off our debt. So we'll see how we decide to go about monkey shining around with this but I tell you what between this current setup that we got right here we definitely were able to make the magic work huh. who would have thought who would have thought well I'll tell you guys for right now I after we have all of this stuff settled out let's go and take a look at this really quick we do have weeds on field two we'll go ahead and deal with the weeds on field two really quick here and stuff is still a little bit out uh, before we can go ahead and do anything. So I am going to go ahead and collect that. I'm going to accept that contract. Nope, can't do that one. Nope, can't do that one. Nope, can't do that one. We'll throw that one in, accept that contract. And I tell you what, guys, at this point, I know we've done a lot of jumping around, but it was all for the greater good to try and figure out what the heck is going on. At this point, I'll go ahead and take care of some of that weeding and bits and pieces, and I will catch back up with you guys in a little while. Welcome back, everyone. Um, we are not as far along as I thought we would actually end up being when we were going to come back to each other, but a couple things have changed. Uh, one thing that has not changed yet is me remembering to put down the pickup on my loading wagon here. That's, I think that's just going to be one of those things that we're going to run into all the time. <laughs> oh man, I'm just taking a quick little look-see around here because I remember seeing a couple bits and pieces of grass. Um, so, what do we got going on? Well, what we have going on here is... We actually took and traded in our windrower. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, why would you do something silly like that? Uh, because, as you can see, that guy over there, that little windrower over here, we'll take a little closer look at it, um, has a, an, I think it's an 8.3 meter spread on it, working speed, or not working speed, working distance, 
a little makes a little more sense. Um, oh shoot, gotta have that down yet. All right. So that has a slightly wider working distance, uh, which is gonna allow me to win row a little bit faster. Now, there's also a second reason for that. The second reason is when I was win rowing this field over here. This field had a lot of undulations to it. I was missing some things. Part of it could have been me. Um, I did do win row the first two outside rows, and then I had a helper, ac actual helper, uh, not uh, course play. Uh, had an actual helper over there to take care of that. And between myself and the AI, or the helper, we were missing a lot of stuff. Uh, it, just, it just wasn't working out too slick for us. So I decided it was time. Let's pull the trigger. Let's change it around. Um, let's upgrade our systems. Now, I went and I mowed this field. And I win rode this field. And now you are seeing me in the final stages of just picking up the last little bits of grass. The amount of time it took me to win row and pick up the grass. I picked up a little bit of hay in there too. That's neat. Uh, the amount of time it took me to win row this, mow the grass on this, pick up the grass on this field, was the exact same, or roughly, I can't say exact, but roughly the same amount of time with that little side mower it took for us to mow this entire field. So speed-wise, we pretty much, just by getting the mower and the wind rower, cut our speed into a third. It, it was absolutely great, great, crazy, absolutely loved it. So that's, let's go ahead and dump this into here. And then we'll go ahead and empty this off into here and just crush the last little bit. Um, I also have to pick this stuff up that is no longer in here as well. But there, you know, guys, if you think that is the reason why I brought you in here. That is actually not the reason why I brought you in here. Um, this field over here, this isn't the reason either, but this field over here, uh, we did our soil sampling on, we limed it, and we fertilized it. And because this field had not been limed at all, it required a boatload. <laughs> I had to actually buy more lime. We almost ran. We did run out. Um, it was about 52, not 52,000, 5,200 liters that we used on there. Um, so that, yeah, we went through an absolute ton of lime on that field. I'm thinking about potentially even going ahead and mowing it next, not mowing next time, but uh, uh, going ahead and plowing it the next time. Now, not just because it needs to be plowed, but that area over there I was looking to go ahead and expand because it makes a little bit more sense to make it a little bit wider get just a little bit more yield and then on top of it I won't have to look at it telling me that I have to plow it even though I shouldn't have to plow it at all perfect hopefully I can pack this down yes 100% perfect now after all that nonsense, all that mumbo jumbo, so we have 52,000 liters in here, or not 52, 102,000 liters. That's great. You might be asking yourself, boy, is this guy just stalling or something? I mean, what's going on here? I, I'm not, I'm not fully understanding. Egg prices have finally, finally topped out at $8,484. Booyah! Can I get a booyah in the comment section? Oh my gosh. I am just tickled pink. So, I'm going to try something. This is probably going to turn out to be absolutely disastrous. But I'm going to try something. I think I'm going to put the eggs in this bucket. And see how that goes. <laughs> oh man, yeah, so... That, that's what I want to try. I'll try this, see how it works, just because we have a lot of eggs. Oops. Um. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, I'm thinking we might be able to do it, but uh, we'll see. We will see. If not, you know, 
I, ultimately what it comes down to is that uh, we got rid of the other trailer that we normally use where we can convert it the I think it's the con no I don't remember what the name of it is but the green one you know that the cheap cheap trailer that you start off with uh, that's the one we were using and we have since sold that guy now I could take all of these and put them in just a standard trailer oops well that one well those those eggs are a little iffy yeah let's see if I can fit, remember how to do this oh yeah perfect get that to work slide that in there um, we we could take and convert the trailer that we did have and just not convert but just take all the eggs and throw them in there but I'd like to not do that I'd like to do it where I don't know I'd like to try it this way to see if this is an actual option of something we can do oh gosh darn it all Maybe if I squat to pick this up there we go slightly better angle and perfect and what uh, what I had uh, our helper go ahead and do was over on field six that was weeded out and there was a contract to do weeding so uh, I figured while I'm over here taking care of our grass picking it up putting it in making silage out of that thing uh, we can go ahead and send it over there so that's Come on. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's try this again. There we go. Just like magic. Just like magic. I gotta love it. Alright. So I'm kind of curious to see how much we're going to get off this. Obviously we have a nice, nice load. But ultimately, it's all going to depend... Um, on how this all pans out here. Come on. Well, that's working. Now, the unfortunate thing is, I think I'm going to have to kind of figure out some way to rig these last couple ones in here. Now, this... Oh, shoot. Oh, maybe we'll just put it right here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll buy me another spot. <laughs> All right, I'm stoked. I'm super stoked. We've been waiting to do this for quite some time. Part of it is my fault. Oh, come on, back up. Part of it is my fault just for, honestly, forgetting about the eggs on a consistent and regular basis. But now that I've remembered the eggs, I'm stoked. <laughs> but, you know, ultimately... Um, it has taken a while for egg prices to get back up to this this price that we're seeing today. So I am... I am... There we go. I am excited to see how this pans out. But we're going to go ahead. We're not going to go at max speed. We'll even turn the lights on so people know where we are. No one crashes into us. No one smashes into us. Uh, because we don't want to break our delicate eggs. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um, yeah, you know, and by going ahead, and what I want to get back to was um, buying that wind rower and upgrading our mower and stuff like that. You know, that stuff was made possible, I guess, is the best way to look at it. It was made possible by the fact that we were doing some uh, discount, uh, or not discount, we were we were doing cotton on a budget, you know really low balling price on how to how to do cotton right there because like I said it's like thirty thousand dollars thirty five thousand dollars whatever whatever I had said before that's how much it actually legitimately costs so uh, little endeavors like this little endeavors like that really helps take care of that Ooh, that was it Let's see we got it all out Yes, we do. We got it all out. All right, so we're up to 32,000. I think we had about 17,000 before, so uh, I think that's about 15,000. We ended up getting off that just with eggs. Sweet. That is a darn, darn good feeling. I can tell you what. 
uh, it'd be nice if uh, we had the opportunity to go ahead and do that more often. Now, I have seen a mod out there. It's a mod by Stevie. Uh, it's an egg cell point. What I have seen done in the past is you can actually take that egg cell point. If you have the global company um, extended placeables set up, you can actually go ahead and take that egg cell point by Stevie. Uh, I don't know if anybody else makes them, so Stevie's just the only one I'm familiar with. You can take that cell point, plop it down right here, so you never really have these spawn. You never have these boxes spawn. Um, they just sell instantly every hour, and you get a, you get uh, just uh, money coming in on a roller constantly. That's one way of doing it, uh, but you're not always getting the best prices for everything. I kind of like doing what we just did right there, going ahead and waiting till we get enough, and then selling it all at once. It's kind of super cool, cool, cool feeling. Um, so come over here and take a look at this guy. Now this one is a mod. Uh, we'll come in here and show you what we got going on with this mod. Uh, if I can get you the right one. Here. It looks a lot like this guy here. This guy is bigger than what we got. This is 9.3. The one that we have is 8.3. Uh, which essentially is you take two of these and you smash them together is what it comes down to. Uh, it is still a coon. And it's this guy right here right there so you get 8.2 meters and it's half the price of this guy so I don't know it's a it's not as much as this this only still requires 35 horsepower this requires 75 this larger setup and this guy requires 70 so we are underneath our our total that we got going on right there um, so I just wanted to give you more uh, just remind you what's going on with this here too as well since we're over here um, just as a reminder, we do have 51,000, yeah, we have 51,000 liters sitting in our silo over there that needs to be sold along with all of this. That's part of what we were doing to, oh, come on, to pay for that field over there. And between that, $150,000 should yield, once prices jump back up in silage, roughly roughly that $170 so or not 170 100 and or not $70,000 $70, uh to go ahead for that pay for that field and huh weird you know what you know what this is from <laughs> oh man this is from when we took and cut all this stuff down over here oh i must have missed that guy Huh. All right. Well, I tell you what I'm going to go ahead and do here at this point. I'm going to go and ski daddle off. Uh, check this out really quick. Let's see what we got going on right here. Complete that. No new contracts. So we'll probably just go ahead, get stuff set up, go through the night, and I will probably catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning. And how the heck are you guys doing? Oh, my goodness. I tell you what. What a day yesterday. We had a lot of stuff happen. It was absolutely fabulous. Oh, boy. You know, it, it, it's hard to imagine that yesterday actually spanned the course of two, maybe three episodes on here. I mean, it just was an incredibly long day, and it was packed full of stuff. And to be honest with you, it actually kind of is reflected by how much we made yesterday. Yesterday, the harvest income was 40,000, 40,000, silly, 45,001. <laughs> I love that. 32,969 dollars were from contracts, giving us a grand total of 77,970 dollars. Now that was one heck of a day yesterday for income. Uh, that uh, that cotton, hey, that really made a big difference right there. But we go ahead and take that number and add it on to our old total of about $480,000. We are now sitting at a grand total of profit from harvest 
of $561,937. Booyah! We have made it halfway to our goal. Oh, it's a good feeling. Very, very good feeling. Oh, oh, oh I love my bench. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is great. This is absolutely great. Um, now, there were a couple contracts that popped up in the middle of the night that I decided I wasn't going to do in the middle of the night, but I had accepted them. Fertilizing contracts started popping up all over the place. Um, I believe we even have a, a cultivating contract to do. Uh, so we do have two things of eggs in here. Now, if I remember if I remember correctly, egg prices, I think, are still at the same. They're still really high, so we may end up going ahead and taking that guy and selling it here in just a minute. Uh, we'll come over here and take a look at this. 99% fermented, so that's something we'll end up dealing with at some point today. But... Let's take a look at this. I seen this cotton is going up. Obviously, we don't have any cotton, so it is what it is. Even on the low end, it's two thousand dollars less than that. That's not bad. Um, silage. Silage is actually at a pretty decent price here today. So once the silage gets taken care of, or I should say, once the silage is done silaging, I don't know. I know that's not a word, but it sounded good in my head. <laughs> Uh, we'll go ahead and take all of that stuff over there. Now, what I think I may end up doing here is that one trailer that we ended up leasing for the uh, for the cotton. That does cotton and silage, grass, hay, straw, and chaff. So I think I may actually go ahead and purchase that, especially if we're thinking about going ahead and dipping our toe into the cotton pool. Um I think that's going to be something we end up doing, and then we can use that to help pull the silage on over. Uh, let's see here, coming down here, taking a look at this stuff. Prices are looking pretty good. Canola is nice and high. All this canola, I believe, I believe is over at the other um, location, not at the main farm. So, Actually, I'm not sure. I don't even remember what I have at the main farm. I'll probably have to go back and take a look and see what we all have going on. But for right now... Uh, we have some contracts that I'd like to get ourselves started in. Now, I'm going to have this guy come and just fertilize the world. I'm going to go ahead and grab the cultivator because I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, fertilizing, sp spreading fertilizer around the world, okay, whatever. Uh, I, I'd much rather go ahead and plow or even go ahead and... Cultivate. Sorry, I was drawing a blank. Uh, versus a lot of these other things. And it's really weird because that's quite a progression that I've made. Uh, I used to hate doing plowing contracts and cultivating contracts, but now I actually really kind of like them. Um, all right, so I brought the trailer over here by the pigs because we did put the barley over here and stick it in this, and that's it. I didn't actually um, put the canola in by the pigs yet or I should say the barley in by the pigs here. It's not much. It's only a little over 5,000 liters, but yeah, well, it's going to help. It's going to help, and it'll just be one of those things we don't have to worry about. Now, one thing I am starting to see a lot of recently is I have been seeing a lot of um, corn contracts, or not corn contracts, but a lot of fields being taken care of with corn. That's what they're planting in there turn this on here okay it's on the right side I'm gonna zoom in so I apologize if this gets a little loud here just it gets to be kind of hard to see and there's that little bitty glitch in there where you have that opportunity to get it in come on oh, oh, oh right there yeah this is probably about the least user-friendly animal stall area I've ever used. I am not a fan of this at all, but it's uh, it's part of the system. It's definitely part of the system that we got going on here. Uh, get this guy out of here. Alright, I'm going to just put the cover on this and tuck this off to the side here for a minute while I go ahead and clean this up for the pigs. And 
Actually, now I think about that. Um, how many pigs do we actually have in there? Oh, we're up to 21 again, so we've already put on three pigs since we've sold them. Uh, that's great. That's great news. Um, perfect. So then we'll go ahead and we'll do the exact same thing where we sell seven pigs and... Oh, shoot. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and sell seven pigs and get seven grand for it. I don't know. We might do uh, the same thing as we did last time where we do a pig swap and swap the pigs for cows. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how I want to go about doing that yet. Perfect. And one of these days here, I'll uh, go ahead and take the pig food that we have in this and throw it in. But I don't see any reason for wanting to do that right now. So let's go ahead. I'm going to put this in. I'm actually going to use... Uh, there we go. I'm going to use the auto drive to get this back to the main farm. I am going to hop over to the other tractor. There we go. Yeah, we'll get this guy going back to the main farm. I'd rather keep this, the, the trailer, over at the main farm. Uh, and we'll have it go to the cows. And we'll probably take care of the cows then next. But since this is done... Stop driver. Yep, yep. What's our next contract? Uh, 16710. 16710. Well, we might as well head on over to the greenhouse then. Nope. Nope. Send him to the greenhouse. And then when he gets over there, he I could even have this guy take care of the greenhouse. Uh, there it is. Okay, perfect. But I really want to get over here. And, oh, that's right, that tucked in the corner. I forgot that's where it leaves you. I want to get myself over to field eight and start cultivating. Um, yeah, like I said, cultivating is cultivating and plowing are two things that I absolutely hated. I mean, we're talking strong hatred with passion. <laughs> I did not like doing that at all one bit. Um, but now, as time goes on, it's one of those little chores or tasks around the farm that I really, really enjoy. Uh, as bizarre as that sounds, um, even doing potatoes, that was one thing that I absolutely hated doing in the past as well. Um, now that I have actually done potatoes, um, uh, gone through the process of washing the potatoes with a potato washer, um, oh shoot, and then sorting them as well uh, through a little contraption and area that I like to call Potato Land. It sounds crazy. Trust me, it was crazy, but it worked. I really have grown to appreciate potatoes because if you take the time, they're one of those, those things that I think really represent farming in this game here. You could probably say the same thing with sugar beets and even sugar cane as well they require more work than any of the other crops in the game it's just the way it is they require a ton of work in the game but with that being said they can give you some of the biggest rewards I mean we all know potatoes have quite a high yield now you go through the process of washing them and sorting them and you're tripling the price of what you can sell your potatoes for it's absolutely in Tense and insane. Uh, before I get that going, I thought I seen... Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the cows right now. We'll go ahead and we'll give this field uh, good old cultivating that it needs. Perfect. All right. Oh, boy, guys. Well, I tell you what, this, is, I think, is where we're going to go ahead and say our goodbyes for the day. Goodbyes for the episode. And I tell you what, if you're liking this, you're liking what you're hearing, you're liking what we're what you're seeing, my gosh, we're halfway to the price. One million, we're halfway there. Yes! Just watching them dominoes fall. Go ahead, hit that like button. No, don't just hit it. Just smash it. Smash it as hard as you can. Oh, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe. I definitely would appreciate it. And share this. Go ahead. Click that share. Share the link. 
share the link, send them on over. Tell them, tell the people to go ahead and say, hey, let's take a peek at this. This is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, man. And that's right. Turn the notifications on. Click, click that notification bell. Have it set for all. That way you know when Lock Nuts is going to be on. You can catch up on your favorite Lock Nut episodes. Make sure you don't miss a thing. Remember, we got that new series out there. Take a peek at it. <laughs> oh, guys, I tell you what, it's been fun. It's been real. Cotton on a budget, I gotta love it. I tell you what, that may be my new favorite thing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>